how do you rate your extra weight? My last 10 pounds are on my bottom. My love handles and my thighs. My last 10 pounds are right here, right there, and right there. Erin is a TV reporter, always looking for the angle that will hide her last 10 pounds. And I can't do it alone. I really need your help. Are you in the military? Let's go! Erin signed up for boot camp, yes. eager to drop her extra weight before shooting her new demo reel. So have you ever tortured anyone? Like, did you work for the government? But four grueling weeks with me... He's like this the guy that you love to hate, I guess. ...will prove to be this yeah. journalist's oh. toughest assignment yet. You came looking for me, I didn't come looking for you. This is how I do things. Come on! And that is Erin Shaw on The Last 10 Pounds That's with part of that. Tommy <laughs> Europe. She has never seen never. it. Uh, and, uh, well, we're going to talk to her about it right now. How are you? I'm good. Do you how want you? to kill him now? <laughs> Now I want to hug him. Hug him? Yeah! Oh, that's a nice way to start. What about the breaking news thing in the bottom? That was... At the time, I wanted to kill him. It was horrible. Well, it wasn't horrible. It was really good, but it was hard. Now, Aaron, Mike and I have worked with you for a long time. I never would have thought that you needed to lose weight. Yep. But what made you decide to go on the last 10 pounds? Well, it was always something that I wanted to do, but you know how it is. Life gets in the way. You can always think of a reason why you don't need to do it or why Excuses. you can put it off. Excuses. Excuses. Yes, Tommy. Excuses. Those are Exactly. Excuses. That's what she's and trying I, to say. Exactly. And I thought someone like Tommy would motivate me to actually do it. And he did. Tommy, He's is this a, a fairly common situation that you run into uh, through the show? Or, or people, have they usually let it get a little farther? Or is it some, just... Some people have let it get a bit too far. Some people are looking for that last little bit. Um, some people have are already lost a bunch of weight and just, you know, yeah. they're stuck at a plateau. Why is that last 10 pounds so hard? Because I think you talk to anybody that's lost <laughs> weight, and that is the hardest part. Because to lose your last 10 pounds, you've got to work harder than you're used to working. And uh, a lot of people think they've reached their limit and yeah. uh, they say, I can't go anymore. I can't do anymore. Uh, I'm stuck at this plateau. It's, it's not budging. Yeah, you can. You just got to push a little bit harder. Now, Aaron had a huge success, uh, of course, training with you, doing it on the program. It is very intense. What is the timeline with somebody like Aaron when they're taping an episode of your show? Four weeks. Uh, four weeks of training with me. Um, so it's three days a week. Then they've got two to three days of cardio to do on their own. And in Aaron's particular case, she was definitely one of my stars because she worked hard all the time. And, you know. You worked really hard. <laughs> I did. I was really sweaty. Well, really yeah. sweaty. sweaty. First, uh, you know, it's interesting, Tommy, though, I mean, when you meet someone where, where really the mentality is there, you know, like, they're willing to put in that work, and, they're, and they're sometimes they just need that tweak. Yeah, they're a lot of fun to, uh, to work with people like, such as Aaron, and uh, there have been a handful of others yeah. um, that really came in with the attitude that, hey, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do whatever you say, yeah. I want this bad, and they, they show it. And then there's, but Tommy, you then there's get, some other ones. You get right up in her ear, though, the whole time. I mean, You're you know, motivated there's... by fear, though. If I don't do this, it's going to show at the end. Yeah, I right. will not have lost the 10 pounds, and that's really embarrassing. That's a good yeah. motivator. That's what was motivated. the toughest part for you? When I saw you on the treadmill going oh. at an eight, a speed of eight at an eight incline, I don't know if I could have done that. Was that the, the toughest that thing? That was a, was a day where they, they didn't warn me how tough it was going to be. They're like, we're just going to get you on the treadmill for a little bit. I even, like, oh, I, had actually, I had plans She's afterwards. a runner. So She's I, a runner. I had done my makeup. I'm a runner, Tommy. <laughs> you had makeup I, on. I was going out later, so I had done my makeup. I had plans, <laughs> and they did something to me that apparently they did not done to anyone else on that show before, which has put me to some crazy anaerobic level that they do for sports stars. That's the puke level. Isn't it, Tommy? I don't well, know, you know what, what it was. But she's but a was runner, so she can, she can handle five or six miles oh, easily. He keeps saying yeah. this. Plus, she's, she's on TV all the time, so she knows how it is, so she can fake it for a little bit. Well, Tommy, that, day, that day, there was no fake. Well, what you no guys faking. were doing was really interesting, because people lose uh, perspective on what it is that they're putting into their body, and what is required to get rid of that from their body as well. And you were, what, counting up her calories, and then showing... She counted her calories and how many hours of uh, different types of exercise, in this case it was on a treadmill, how long you would have to be in that treadmill to burn off the calories you just ate. And Aaron, yeah. you could see this in your eyes, that that realization was like, well, wait a second, when I put 800 calories in, it's 45 <laughs> minutes at seven yeah. miles an hour on a seven degree incline. Like, how do you do that? When you spell it out like that, it makes you realize some things are just not worth it. And in my case, <laughs> the chocolate covered almonds <laughs> were not, were not worth, worth it. it. So no more beer and chocolate? Well Beer? I, <laughs> what? Beer. You can't cut up beer. I make I make allowances for the weekend, but Tommy's taught me to eat much better. Everything. Tommy, what is your advice on that exactly what she just said? I that she has fun on the weekend and stuff. Is it okay to have the cheat days to still have fun? You know what? It's everything in moderation. But to have a mm -hmm. cheat day you have to actually have some work days. Yep. And right. I think too many people is that what have I'm doing the, wrong? That's no, no, but they have the 
works in cheat days and they'll go way overboard. Yeah. And you know, I like to have fun, I'll go out and have the occasional drink, but I'll train hard all the time. And that's the main part of what I do. If you make partying or eating uh, poorly, drinking alcohol part of your major major diet, uh, dietary choices. Yeah, you're not going to be able to catch no, up. No, bad things are going to happen. Uh, how much of uh, that? You make last it sound so ominous. I know. <laughs> bad things are going to happen. Don't look at me when you, <laughs> you know, say it's, that. It's one of those tick, 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 boom. Uh, how much of this whole thing, especially that last 10 pounds, how much of it is diet? I mean, because most people, when they when they've lost a lot of weight, they're getting into a good exercise regime. How much of it is, is just sort of tweaking what they're eating? Diet is very important, especially when it comes down to the end. Um, knowing how many calories it, uh, you require per day, so your basal metabolic rate, um, knowing how many calories you're putting into your body, uh, uh, splitting your meals up, five to six meals a day. We're looking at a really interesting <laughs> part fridge. here. Coffee <laughs> cream <laughs> is so About evil, and a lot of people pounds. wouldn't realize just how just evil it is. How I bad is it to put that cream in your coffee? Down. Well, you know what? I do put cream in my coffee, I'm not going to lie. But I you also work out. I burn it off. Though. I burn it off. So it all—it's all depending on how much how much you drink, how much you consume, and just read the labels. The label will tell you everything you need to know. Yeah. And I think uh, too many people just go blindly. Yeah. Another good thing: if something never goes bad. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Good. Good. There's only a 25 year shelf life. You were uh, a huge success story in this episode, but mm -hmm. you taped it a while back. Yes. So the big question is you look fantastic. Ever, yeah. Was Thanks. it really hard to maintain? Because you obviously have maintained, but well, was it tough? No, it's, it's actually been really great because after going on four weeks of extreme, you know, taking extreme measures to, to look good in a short amount of time, you kind of get to. Not relax entirely, Tommy. Don't give me an evil look, please. Um, <laughs> but you get to relax a little bit, right? So when you do, for example, get to have like a turkey burger and a beer on the oh, weekend, it feels good. you're like, oh, turkey this burger is so and a beer. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. turkey burger and a beer. It's just, it's like a big treat. So you, it's basically you modify your expectations. Really, you yeah. don't to have a great night. You're not going to eat a whole pizza. Yeah. You're going to have a couple slices of pizza and go to the gym the next well, day. Well, and you learn that discipline too, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. of, of getting into the gym and and how hard you have to work to to keep your body in good shape. Is yeah. what people don't realize. It's, but it's one of those things too. People want to, you know, I get questions. People want to lose weight. I want to lose inches. I'm going away next week, or somebody's getting married, or you know, <laughs> whatever you guys do with your time. I, <laughs> And then they'll be like, so which vodka has the less, least amount of calories? <laughs> so your goals have to align with, Belvedere, you know. Belvedere, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Tommy, tell us Good about the Thanks, book. Me. We've got the 10 pound shred from Flab to Fit in four weeks. We just got our hands on it. Uh, where can people get this? Where books are sold everywhere. So Chapters, Indigo, nice Amazon. Work. Thank you very much. Yeah, it looks great, man. I basically, um, a lot of the questions that I would get was, I really want to go on this, I, I want to lose the last 10 pounds and I'll do anything, but I, I don't want to be on TV. And I get that a lot. So the book kind of came about um, putting a program together and then talking throughout it. So it's kind of like, I'm there with you. Uh, 31 this book days. Doesn't yell at me though. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say though. They need to put oh. your voice in the book yeah. so it's like I make the rules here. A Tommy did you audio book. Mimic him? I didn't mimic him. I did an homage. Maybe to Tommy for the second version. When we update that, I'll put a little voice in there too. Voice. So when Tommy, you open by it, the way, Mike <laughs> says like that he can do more push-ups than you. Just wanted to throw it out there. Uh, oh. Era's episode of the last 10 pounds with Tommy Europe but airs March 10th at 8 o'clock on Slice, and you can pick up uh, the 10 pound shred in bookstores on. March 10th. Don't give me a dirty look because you did say that. And of course, you can watch Aaron on the Express right here on Shaw TV. You did. <laughs> I didn't say push ups. Ready? Oh, what did you say? What did you say? Let's do it. I did say push ups. Burpees. Let's go. Push -up. Where are we going? Count. Just do it. We're going into break, though. We're do it right there. Do it. <sighs> oh, you got to move this okay. a little more, ladies. Get it into Tommy's line. Here we go. Okay, okay. all the way down. And hey. Up. Oh, okay. look at Tommy's Get touching clap. air. Clap. <laughs> I'm never gonna quit. I just want you to know. <laughs> never say never, Mike. <laughs> what hurts? Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I see bad things happening. <laughs> I see bad things happening. Come on, let's go. Keep up. Keep up. Keep up. That's what I thought. <laughs>